five bucks or whatever. But it doesn't have the return on the turn signal. So when I first started driving this thing, I drove miles with the turn signal on like an idiot. It's not real pretty under here, everything did fit great. Surprisingly well, actually. Only thing moved was the radiator moved back about two inches. Most of the interior is all new. We got new carpet. We got a seat out of a 2008 Toyota pickup. We've got these speed hut gauges, which I just love. They have been fantastic, very accurate. Very happy with them. Vintage Air AC kit with louvers on either side and in the center with the blacked bezel, backlit LED bezel. Really cool thing about the stereo is my phone becomes the head unit. I didn't have to cut into the dash at all. Uh, as soon as I start the truck, it automatically pairs to the phone. Then my music is just controlled through the phone. Then my phone controls the volume. I have a Sirius XM app on there as well as all the music in my phone. I really like that. It is it is really neat. And it just, like I said, automatically pairs. Easy as that. So as you can see, the truck is pretty much done. The thing drives fantastic. I can't really explain just how well it drives. It feels more nimble than a Crown than the Crown Vic did. I'm getting about the same gas mileage uh, as the Crown Vic. Even though this body is lighter, it's less aerodynamic. So that's probably causing that. Also, you know, I'm getting into it a lot. Driving it around, I've been recognized twice uh, by viewers that uh, have come up and talked to me, and that's fantastic. That's amazing. I never thought that would happen. But it's so cool to get to meet you guys. I, I love that. It's probably my favorite part of the whole thing. It's really hard to put into words just how incredible this thing drives. Um, it's a lot better than I even thought it would be. It's just, it's so nimble and planted. You almost feel like you could autocross the thing. I've gotten a few questions, uh, is it for sale or is it gonna be for sale? And of course, yeah, everything's for sale for the right price, but it wouldn't be cheap, but no, I'm not actively selling it. And I want you to know this isn't the end to the videos. I'll still be doing videos about the truck and hopefully we'll get on another project or just pull out that Mustang convertible and finally finish that thing up. But I gotta have something to do over the winter, some project, so expect more videos. I will say the modern seat, the high density foam seat uh, with bolstering is the way to go for this. It's so nimble that you can take really hard turns and with the stock bench seat you'd just be sliding all over the place. And for longer trips it feels great. A lot of those original bench seats just kill your back on long trips. I gotta say so probably one of my favorite parts is the gas stations. Uh, you always get a guy that comes up and, and starts talking to you and I love that. Uh, talking about old trucks or you know, I used to know a guy who had one or my dad had one. I actually had a guy that came up to me at a gas station that worked in the assembly line 
that made the unibodies and he told me some really neat stories about how these things were made. For those that are on the frame swap fence that don't know if they want to do this to their truck, uh, I say go for it. It's just, it's fantastic. It's worth all the labor for sure. One area of concern uh, I've had some questions on was how close the tire is to the wheel well there on the bedside and it is close but this is uh, 800 miles over 800 miles and it's never rubbed once. I think with the four link and the watts link it just doesn't move side to side so have not had an issue with any tire rub in the back. All in all the project took me about six months. I probably could have done it quicker. I had a lot of things going on at the time. Also a, a thing that probably took me a little longer is I wanted to keep the interior as original as possible. I didn't want to use Crown Vic dash or Crown Vic column or anything like that. Because to me, the interior of the truck is, I mean, that's what you see. That's your input to the vehicle. I wanted to keep that era. Well, this has been such a fun project and I really appreciate you guys uh, watching and commenting and subscribing and liking. And like I said, I'll still be making more videos. Expect more videos to come. And again, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Well, look what we have here.